Hi folks, Mr. Teslonian back here again. Now we're going to go through the results of the bio crude oil project and I'm going to start from right to left here and tell you just what we're looking at and where it came from. Let me zoom in on this a bit here. That final little test tube there is from the fourth and final collector on the system, the plastic jug at the very end. That is the entirety of the liquid that was gathered in that jug. So there was no other liquid but that amount right there, which is a really good sign. Uh, so let me go ahead and zoom in on the second one here. This auburn looking one right here is from that glass jug that we were looking at during the processing. You can see a very clear, nice auburn color to that. Almost resembles a refined state of fuel already. Uh, we'll go in here one more. This is going to be much more difficult to see. Uh, it is a blacker crude. The difference between it and the first one is that this first one, which I'll show you here in a minute, this crude in the first one is so thick that it'll actually stick to the glass, whereas the crude in the second one won't stick to the glass. Uh, so we'll go ahead and show you that here in just a moment. You'll see some evaporation taking place in the sunlight here. That's both uh, any water that might have been in there and possibly any uh, gas fumes also that are in there. So let me go ahead and back out here. You can see these three jugs over on the right here. That is the full collection that we've gotten out of the system. And I'm going to go ahead and take the camera in a little closer and show you just how much we ended up with from that run and the three different grades. Because remember the fourth grade, all we ended up with was that little amount right there in that test tube. So not a lot to work with. So give me just a moment. I'll take the camera in here and I'll show you all these grades up close and show you how much we produced. 